What's up? Guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody watching. Uh, I'm going to do a quick episode about some products that I bought a little while back. Um, each time I, I buy something for the X3, I'm going to do a video for it. Uh, just to show all the little things. It's progress of everything I'm going to do along the way. Right now, I've got the windshield and the roof and stuff off because I was doing some extensive cleaning. And also maybe provide some better lighting before I put everything on. I just got done working on a car, so I'm a little bit dirty and tired. And um, we're going riding in about four hours, so I've been working on somebody's car for like the last five hours. So I'm ready to get this done and take a quick nap, hit some coffee, and hit the trails this weekend. Anyways, so I ordered some products from a company called Extreme Metal Products. Um, they were running a sale on some door bags and a top center console that also acts as a tablet holder. So this is the first time I've looked at them. I just opened a box and peeked in there for a second. Uh, I'm going to show you guys everything and go through the install. So far it's looking pretty good. Got me a pretty sweet koozie. Uh, what I'm going to do is, is after this on the first line of the description of the video I'm going to put a link to their website stream metal products shout out to these guys here is the door bags and the center console so bear with me as I don't have anybody else to hold the camera for me so they sell these in a set I actually got these for I think it was $59 maybe I found them um, I've been really wanting a set of door bags because everybody knows you can't really hold a lot of stuff inside the X3s uh, I was going to get a set of BRP door bags uh, the cheapest place I could find them was Partzilla so I seen these and seen a deal on them and I was like you know it's a pretty cheap price so I could at least try them. If I don't like them, I can sell them to somebody else or use them for something else. So, these already look pretty cool. They got the first bag and then the second bag right here. I'm going to install one of them and then walk you through how easy it is to install. This is the center console piece. Apologies, I couldn't open the back and video record at the same time. So this is the center console piece. Um, comes with a couple screws and some weather stripping. Basically the center console piece, as I can see, goes right here uh, in this area. Kind of just fills it in. Gives you an extra place to put stuff. And the front of it looks like it holds a tablet. So if you have something like a, I don't know, we use lifetime trail maps around here. So I might actually upload that up to a Samsung tablet that I already have and see how that works out. All right, so I just installed one of these uh, on the driver door. Seems to be pretty cool, relatively easy to install. I know that this Velcro strap right here was easy to put on. Uh, this one seems to be a little offset with where the door is. I'm sure you could take the door, uh, the plastic stuff off itself might make it a little bit easier. This one right here was relatively easy. Um, this one, I don't know about it. Might have to take the door off to get to to get it better suited in there. But and this one was pretty cool. Um, something I did learn was is that these are two pieces. Instead of just one, I figured that the way in the picture that they look, that they could just slide apart or they would slide under that door bar. But they're actually made out of Velcro, which is pretty cool. So if you didn't want one versus the other, you take them off. Um, something I did see, I'm assuming because a lot of bags or some bags have as a knee guard of where that would be a placement. This one has a cushion on the inside of it. So the pocket is not really that deep. I'm not sure what you would put down in there because um, it'd be kind of hard to get out. I may at some point look at them and see if I can get some of that cushion out and make it bigger. But anyways, for the price that they are, that's not half bad. Um, 
looking at this, I might have to get me some handles. So I'll upgrade to some handles so I won't be interfering with trying to get into that. But again, it's a strap and a Velcro piece and you know, and it all comes right back out. So if it presents a problem on the trails, bam, you can just take it out, throw it under the seat or give it to somebody for good luck. And next I'm gonna move on to the center console. I won't be able to hold the camera and do that at the same time, but after I get done, I'll walk you through the steps and basically I'm learning it should be, looks like it's pretty easy. All right, so I got the center console installed. It was relatively easy. There is a screw that goes here and a screw that goes here. It did include some weather stripping, which is what I'm assuming is going to cover this gap right here. So I'm gonna take it back off and put the weather stripping in. This is where the tablet goes. There's a button on the top. And then there's an adjuster here. I guess if you wanna make it bigger. Put your big tablet or something else on there. I apologize about the lighting. I was going to do this in the daytime, but I've been stuck doing other stuff. The fitment up here on the centerpiece was relatively easy. This is where the other two screws go. Oh, there we go. There's a screw that goes here and a screw that goes here. You can see little dimples uh, where the screws are supposed to go. I'm assuming pre-drill if you want to. I just ran some screws in there. One thing I do recommend and I found out pretty quick that I don't like is that the screws that come with the kit, the heads of them strip out pretty quickly. Easily. As in hand drilling them, they stripped out. So luckily I keep nuts, bolts, and screws and stuff on hand. I found two screws that are the same size and have washers. So right now I'm going to take this all this apart and put the weather stripping I guess you can see the gap that leaves in there I'll put the weather stripping in there but that's pretty cool pretty cool cubby you can use your charging port in there put it in there keep it shut bam when you need it just flip it in and out seems like I shouldn't have any problems getting to any of my switches light those up. You can see. Not bad. Alright, I got everything finished up. Got the center console. Yeah. Try to do that with a flashlight. You can see in there. Put your phone or GoPro or whatever it is you need to charge. Probably Later on, might be able to run a cord through there. I guess keep your accessories charged. Well, it's pretty easy. Everything went back together. Got all this back on. Now I'm going to put my windshield on, put the roof back on, and get ready to go riding in the morning. Also, got my door bag up and ready, rocking and rolling for tomorrow. Gonna test it out. Be pretty handy to have. So I'm throwing my phone or GoPro stuff in there. To end this video, yesterday we went riding. As you can see, she's a muddy mess. Um, the, the little door bag that was right here, first thing of the day, I ended up taking it off because it was pretty difficult to open the door with these regular straps. So I just took it off and left it in the truck. Uh, Later on, I'm either going to get some different doors or get some door handles and then put it back on and see if it'll work better. Anyways, with the bags, the bags was amazing. Uh, as much stuff as they contain and they could hold in them. I did notice on the inside, it's very soft on the inside right here against the bag. So if you had something like your camera or whatever, you could put your lens against it and it not scratch it if you were in a hurry or something and you didn't want to get it back in a case. As far as the center console goes, it worked out really good. I just put my phone in here, which links up to my sound bar. Now I have a remote control for that, so my phone just stayed in here unless I wanted to take a picture. I uh, didn't have any issues, didn't get anything in there. There's not really any dirt or mud. It came in really handy. 
So, like I said before, uh, I will post a link in the first uh, couple lines of the description for these products if you're interested. They are a very cheap alternative if you're looking for accessories like this. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and this helps you make a decision on future products. Adios.